We're back with more Pochonomics. Are you ready, Shannon? Oh it's, my it's, gosh. It's actually the full game now. So. I, I heard that it's completely different now. It, it, a whole new opening. I, I've heard that there's some major bugs, like we're supposed to just work off the autosave and not do manual saves because it does weird stuff. Uh, oh. We, we've already done the letter. Go, go watch the, the demo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold on. It's it's after this that the changes happen. Okay. Alright. Yep, I remember this. <laughs> Thump. Oh, I don't have any sound. What? Hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Um, is it because your Discord? No. Why don't you have sound? I don't know how to fix that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just have to imagine using imagine. my beautiful mindscape. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to clock out. <laughs> you don't even mean you forgot to clock out. <laughs> it's all right. I can handle it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh okay. Well, th this is your line. <laughs> oh, okay. Remember, you're Sylvia. <laughs> well, there's no sound, so uh, I don't have to say anything now. That's not how that works. Okay. This place is not all I hoped for. <laughs> but this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw on the rafters. How dare you? Good thing I've got a broom. Mysterious witch. Forgive me for the intrusion. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helene, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for the debt now falls to you. Really? I don't think that's legal. I don't know that's how it worked. But I guess that's fine. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop, because look at great shape it is. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? How did he sink a million gold into this? I don't know, but I'm also scared of this briefcase with the teeth. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like a little mimic. What? He must have, like, a gambling debt. I take it you prefer to set up a payment plan. But, I mean, there's no way the property value is that high, right? That's <laughs> so cute. much gold. You could build five shops with that much gold. What in the world did Boswell do with all of it? Mismanage it, to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is... Very fine. What did you just do? I've invoked soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and the shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property. We will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. I like your jacket. <laughs> that sounds bad <laughs> Yes it does I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed In fact, here I'll get you started Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron Oh good, a new tutorial We have 11 turns <laughs> Attempt to raise her interest in the potion Flail in your attempt to raise her interest in the potion. 
blunder your way through an attempt to raise her interest in the potion. Now she's just making us suffer for fun. Yeah. Um, let's start with a blunder. Blunder. One of the classic blunders. <laughs> it's a potion. Oh, you knew that. Hey, her interest raised by two. It's pretty good. Um, it's moldy, so it probably fights bacterial infections. Forty percent. I think to me. Oh my god. Oh, good. You know, to be fair, this is about how I would feel too. We're going to pass out at the end of turn because we can't play these cards and they each increase our stress by two uh, by 20 percent or sylvie look at that that's one that art's adorable two i feel so bad for her this is just like grad school oh I am too stressed to function. Well, I trust you get the hang of it. You have a full ten days before your first payment is due. Wow, I'll be that is you, rough. Sylvia. Good luck. Of course, of course, this would happen. Never should have come here. What am I going to do? You know what? I feel like she would have found you anyway. <laughs> huh? Oh, a bird. it is a, it's a, it's our bird. Yay. Does he have a name now? Ow, my hip. Uh, I mean, hoot hoot. I heard that. You can talk. Well, well, of course I can talk. Must be new here. This is roughed up where the strange is commonplace and, and the birds are chatty. So he spent all the money on you then. I mean, it's a good way to spend money. And what are the property lies like on Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually. If you can call it a living, eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. Oh, good, you can pay rent. <laughs> I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh, did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was, uh, just so embarrassed to admit how... Integral. I was to a shop. I'm calling it. This is Oswald. He has been turned into an owl. Oh, I was going to say the owl killed him. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is Owl. Mm, really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl. It was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment, and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked you off your de This is student loan repayment, the game, and I don't know if I feel comfortable anymore. I told you it was grad school. <laughs> There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. We're going to doctor them. Five competitions taking place over the next 50 days, a series of contests in which local merchants will go head to head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. 10,000. Okay. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition, you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prize will be even better. And just look at the juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions, and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation room. I know a thing or two. All right, then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it, you and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions, make some money. And then maybe have dinner. Let's do some potionomics. Ah, we said the thing! 
Title drop! Oh boy. Even he's not impressed. No. A day keeps the healer away. Daily health potion used to ensure Increased value for health potions? Okay. I see you clean the place up a bit. Nicely done. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Right, that looks like an oak barrel. Yeah, I was told that it was going to be a pot with some gum holding it together. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around cauldron. You went to school for this, after all. This is grad school. <laughs> I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I... <laughs> I'm on my learner's permit. Oh, no. What? Don't play V. The regulations are intense. I had to pass a test, and it, you can only take it so many times in a day. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they let me brew more advanced potions. Oh, look at that! She's so cute in the she photo! She is adorable. I got my first step when I graduated, and then I went to Pewter City, and I went Fire-type, so the Onyx killed my Pokémon. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours in the cauldron. Uh, well, yes, you certainly you get have hours. To, you have to do uh, 40 daytime hours at the cauldron and 10 at night. Oh, they're that strict? Well, you'll yeah. certainly get your hours, starting now, in fact. Right, my first professional brew. I'd better go over my notes from college just to be safe. Oh my god. <laughs> Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. You know, this really does sound like your notes from 101. Yeah. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter assigned. Oh my god. Megamins, that's right. We talked about this before. Yes, uh, we, uh, Star Trek rules. You said it first, you get to name it. <laughs> yes, the mighty Magimin. Where would we be without it? Whenever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you'll find Magimins, magical creatures, mystical plants. Even the rocks of the supernatural island contain this critical alchemical component. Oh Heating my an ingredient god, it's midichlorians! Releases the midichlorians contained within, <laughs> thus infusing your potions with the very essence of the Force. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimins. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimins they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important too. If you balance your magimins is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. Sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it, because we'll have a recipe guide. Hooray! One hey, step at a time? Nope, it's me! Ah, ah, ah. Let's eat. All right. Got to put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. <laughs> Can't go wrong with health potions, and I have that health <laughs> recipe memorized. It's just like microwaving a quesadilla. Don't do that. No. Ew. <laughs> health potions require a combination of red and green megamins. We know this because we played Resident Evil. Some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. Oh, we're thinking hard. If only there were sound effects. That's everything we need. <laughs> Let's put the lid on and set it to brew. Brew, brew two. <laughs> All right, nothing left to do here but let it cook. Does that mean we get to go to the bar? No. Do you think the owl can drink me under the table? Probably. He looks like he could. Like I'll never die. I lose my head. The starry skies can't take me down. I feel so 